Okay, here's the basic recipe. Uh, two cups of flour. Doesn't uh, have to be super precise. One tablespoon of baking powder. One teaspoon or so of salt. You can do one and a half teaspoons if you like it a little bit more salty. Stir up those dry ingredients. And then we're going to put in uh, some butter. And some people like to try and mix this in or cut it in with a pastry cutter. I think it's about probably the easiest to just grate the butter. Uh, and if you throw it in the freezer for two minutes or something beforehand, then it won't melt all over your fingers as much. You can just grate in a stick of butter, half a cup of butter. Um, if you do a quarter cup of butter, they won't taste quite as good, um, but they'll be a little bit more uh, fluffy. Like they can't hold their structure as well. The more butter they have, they flatter the biscuits tend to be. But I do about half a cup or one stick because that's easy to remember. So just grate all that in and then use a fork to kind of stir it so there's no big clumps. Um, you can kind of mash any of the big clumps. This only takes 30 seconds or so to just quickly uh, incorporate all that butter in there. It doesn't have to be super perfect or anything. Just try and get about even sized chunks. And then I use a cup of milk. Um, doesn't matter which type. I've done some experiments where I did buttermilk or even water and most people can't tell the difference. Um, if you want the biscuits to be a little less sticky when you're handling them, you can do just a little bit less than a cup of uh, liquid, milk or water or whatever. Um, if you do too much less, then you're going to have some f leftover flour, but they'll still turn out okay. If you do a lot more, then you'll kind of have drop biscuits and they'll be flatter, um, but they'll, they'll still taste pretty good. I did an experiment with that as well. And then you kind of work the dough a little bit. I need it maybe 10, I think in this video I did 13 times, um, just knead the dough, you're just trying to make it nice and homogenous, um, but I've kneaded it as many as like 45 times where you could really start feeling the gluten working in and didn't make too much of a difference. Then I pat it out about an inch thick um, to make nice thick biscuits. Uh, this last one is about half an inch thick, so you'll see the difference after I cook it with that one um, and then there you go yeah bake at 425 for about 15 minutes and get some nice fluffy tasty biscuits